Hello, my name is Mika Järvinen. Uh, I'm an associate professor uh, from Aalto University. Uh, the topic of this uh, short video lecture uh, is green energy transition within planetary boundaries. Uh, what is planetary boundaries? I think this is uh, first I need to explain that a bit. The figure on the right uh, it shows the, the planetary boundaries concept and, and also the donut econo economy concept. Uh, to be fully uh, sustainable in, in, in living on the Earth, we need to stay within the planetary boundaries or stay, stay within the donut. And, and to make this green transition also, uh, there are challenges to stay within these boundaries. Uh, first of all, we would need to secure uh, the social foundation for all humans uh, living on the Earth. And this is the lower dark uh, green boundary. For example, we should need to secure energy access, drinking water, food, health services, education, social equity, uh, gender e equality, and, 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 and so on for all humans on the Earth. And, and to be on the safe side, we shouldn't see any red inside the donut, but we see a lot of red, so there, there's still a lot to do to improve the situation. Uh, on the other hand, we have ecological ceiling as the upper boundary, uh, and that means that we should live with the, the, the capacity of Earth that, that is able to support our living on Earth. Uh, there's climate change, for example, we need to uh, tackle. Uh, uh, biodiversity loss is something we need to uh, take care of, not to exceed this limit. Land conversion and, 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 and availability and, uh, of, of different nutrients, for example, phosphorus and nitrogen. We need to have that. And also you see from the red color that we are also exceeding these climate change, biodiversity loss land conversion and, and nutrient uh, planetary boundary significantly all, all already. And one important topic here is uh, that instead of linear economy, we need to create circular economy to stay uh, within the limits of planetary boundaries. Uh, one important topic uh, for planetary boundaries is uh, when we talk about renewables is the land use. Of, of renewables. And uh, there are differences, significant differences between uh, the area required by different uh, renewable sources. And, and in the figure, uh, I have given some approximations of, of, uh, of areas needed to produce all electricity uh, requirement of Finland, 87 terawatt hours annually, how much land uh, or area would be needed to produce uh, energy from those technologies. And as a comparison, I have also the dashed line area uh, shows the arable area, so area that is used to grow uh, wheat and, and, and vegetables for us to eat, uh, and also uh, food for animals. Uh, and uh, to be safe side, we could maybe use 10% of this area for uh, energy crops uh, growing. And, and this, uh, these uh, squares here show, for example, energy crops, if uh, land, uh, grown in Finland, this gives the area that would be required for growing those. And so comparing the arable area and need, we are not even close, uh, close to that. Uh, and I didn't consider the, the climate effects on this area calculation, and if it's considered, it would be much larger the area needed. Solar PV and wind areas, in those I used the latest information on, on, on uh, area requirement, considering also the climate impacts. And those areas are actually not, uh, well, they are big, but not, not that huge. So, so what the main message of this picture, in my opinion, is that uh, in the re uh, renewable energy system, we need uh, to have multiple solutions, not, not a single technology, but we also need bioenergy as a part of it, and, and 
we need to take care of our waste. So that, that, that's also part of the solution. But in ad addition to these, uh, these uh, we also need to consider uh, the need for energy storage using these technologies, biodiversity issues, economical issues, raw, mater mat raw materials uh, availability, for example, battery chemicals, CO2 emissions, social aspects, and, and many, many more. So this is quite a complex uh, thing to, to, uh, to analyze. Uh, for this, uh, to, to support uh, students' learning, we are now at the moment uh, building a new textbook on the way, uh, on the topic. Uh, and I'm working with my colleagues and in, in Finland and around the Europe to make a new textbook on, on renewables within planetary boundaries. And the book will be published by Springer Nature, a very famous international publishing house. And the main objective of this book is to explain how we can do the green transition and stay within the planetary boundaries. Uh, and, and also main message is that at the moment we are quite much fixed with so fossil fuels, fossil resources, uh, dependent on those. And when we move to the, uh, the renewable system, we don't want to end up being dependent on, on another something uh, uh, equally harmful or, or even worse, such as uh, fully uh, dependent on battery minerals or rare, met uh, rare metals. And, and circular e economy is something that we need to build to have recycling, effective recycling of these materials. Uh, and the book should be out 23 spring, so if you want to uh, of you are planning to come to university, so hopefully there will be a new, nice book for you to be used. Thank you for listening. Um, if there are any questions, I'm happy to answer. So my, using my email here, please send me email and we can continue discuss. Thank you.